Flagship smartphones are just so damn expensive these days. And smash that like button and leave me a comment if you agree with that statement. So I've got some good news for you guys. Courtesy of Qualcomm, the mother of Snapdragon processors, there are now three new powerful and more affordable chipsets available in the mid-range smartphone market. So before you splash out some serious cash on a flagship phone, try and figure out what it is that's so important that you must have a flagship device. Is it amazing camera features, amazing AI, top quality graphics and gaming performance? If it's any of those I just mentioned, then you need to stick around for this video. So Qualcomm have hatched three new Snapdragons into the world of mid-range smartphones, each one bringing some serious firepower. And let me start with the mid-tier. Snapdragon 665. So it's not been long since we saw the Snapdragon 660 arrive in 2018 and already Qualcomm have stepped up their silicon manufacturing game with a new 11 nanometer Snapdragon processor, the little beast, the Snapdragon 665. Now this is going to bring some serious improvements right across the board and let's start with the advancements in camera tech. The 665 will now support triple camera technology just like the camera tech you see on the Samsung Galaxy S10 and Huawei P30 Pro and we're probably going to see triple cameras on the next iPhone as well. So we're talking about mid-range devices with three cameras. The Snapdragon 665 will be able to support telephoto, wide-angled and super wide-angled lenses on a single device and not only will it have the possibility for more types of lenses, the Snapdragon 665 will also be able to support up to a 48 megapixel sensor with HDR support and to top it off, the 665 will also bring the ability to shoot super slow-mo 720p at 240 frames per second. But it's not just about the camera improvements here on the 665. We can also expect to see two times better AI than the 660 as well as improved gaming experience with a 20% better power efficiency and when it comes to connectivity, the 665 can deliver over LTE up to 600 megabytes per second download speeds. And all of these were flagship features from 2018, but now they'll be available in the mid-range tier smartphone market. So things are definitely going to get interesting there in that price bracket between £199 to £499. I can't wait to see which manufacturers are going to use this particular processor. Now let's turn up the heat a little bit with the newly announced Snapdragon 730. This is a new 8 nanometer chip designed for the upper mid-range tier. And if you thought the Snapdragon 665 sounded good, Qualcomm 730 is bringing even more firepower to the table. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 will support image sensor sizes up to 192 megapixels. Let that sink in for a moment. I said it, 192 megapixels. And as far as I know right now, I don't believe there is a smartphone image sensor on the market that is 192 megapixels. But with that said, I've got the feeling if Qualcomm are able to facilitate this, then the hardware must be on its way. A 192 megapixels smartphone camera. Who do you think will be the first company to launch this new tech? Leave that in the comments below. And it's not just advancements in photography, also videography is going to improve as well. The Snapdragon 730 will be able to deliver 4K video with a portrait effect. And it will also be able to shoot portrait video at 60 frames per second. And this is definitely exciting news for video creators like myself. Being able to deliver this kind of video content directly from your phone is really groundbreaking. And just like the 665, the advancements in technology isn't all revolving around the camera, it also has AI upgrades as well. So in comparison to the 710 Snapdragon, the 730 will have two times better AI and a fourth gen AI engine. And it's also going to be the first time we see Qualcomm's Tensor Accelerator and Computer Vision ISP chip on a Snapdragon 7 series chipset. Previously, we only saw this on the flagship models. So expect phones running on the Snapdragon 730 to truly be fire when it comes to AI and camera quality. And stay tuned to What Gear Reviews for more video content on this in the future. So of course, I've saved some awesomeness for last and it is the mightiest of the three Snapdragons. This one is for the gamers. Every single awesome feature I've already mentioned exists here on the Snapdragon 730G processor. However, this one has a little more ferocity. 
especially when it comes to gaming. So right now the mobile gaming industry is booming and we need hardware that can deliver exceptional gaming experiences at a more affordable price and that's where the Snapdragon 730G comes in. This fire breathing Snapdragon gaming processor is what we've all been waiting for and this variant of the 730 processor has been enhanced and adapted specifically for gamers. It will have 25% faster graphics rendering than the 730 and it will also have 35% better CPU performance. And not only can we expect to see amazing gaming performance in terms of speeds and frame rates, we will also see significant graphical upgrades with the addition of HDR gaming compatibility, 10-bit color depth mapping, Rec 2020 color gamut support, and over 1 billion shades of color. So expect games running on the Snapdragon 730G to look truly awesome. And that is assuming that the manufacturers will put in good enough screens to support it. So enter the Qualcomm Snapdragon Elite Gaming Experience into the mid tier. I'm really excited about these three processors. Let me know in the comments below which one you're looking forward to the most. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna check out some more Qualcomm stuff that I made in the past, hit these thumbnails you can see on the screen here. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.